Hi, I just thought I'd come on and show you the skincare I've used this morning and a quick makeup routine because we're going to go to the soft play with my daughter, we're just off for half term. So that's one thing she wants to do. Um, so I'll just take you through my skincare that I've done this morning. I've got a really bad breakout. It started, I went for a facial last week and then it's just not really Mommy, cleared up. Mommy, Mommy, you saying hello? Mommy, I, I'm going to sleep now. Okay, okay. Um, so I've had to put like a night treatment on which is just from Neutrogena that tends to bring it out quicker than anything that's like infected but then it just needs to just run its course I think and night, night I am quite conscious of it but you know what it's one of those things it happens and it's nothing really we can do about that so um I try and alternate my toners I went for a facial again and she said to me that if you've got like enlarged pores it's not you can't really make them smaller but the best thing to do is to once you've cleansed or use a face mask or gone in the shower close your pores off by using a toner and that's one that I said to her I wasn't using them I wasn't using a toner at all so I try and alternate between like a gentler one uh, maybe in the morning depending on how my skin feels like if my skin feels like it needs a good night, strip night. night I'll use like a glycolic or an, um, salicylic acid or one of the ones which has a chemical um, exfoliant in it and then I might use this if it's feeling a bit dry um, so yeah they work really nicely I love that pixie one I actually got that from um glossy box and i'm really loving that one um i'm just conscious of the amount of cotton wool pads i'm using so if anyone's got an idea of how i can use a toner without using cotton wool pads because i'm using two or three a day and i don't like the waste um so i'm trying to cut down on on that kind of waste. so if anyone's got any ideas let me know um so then skincare wise i've used my plantastic beauty pie micro peeling uh liquid this morning I just find that it, my skin every now and again just needs that strip to take back all of those Mommy, dead skin cells, really. That's really good. I it's got. I had a dream. I had a wonderful dream. Did you have a nice dream? Yeah. I, I had a dream about the hotel going all together. Amazing. Dad, Dad Mum and me. Amazing. We're not going. We're going soon, aren't we? So that's got salicylic acid in. I hope I'm saying that right. Salicylic and then, I don't use that a lot really, maybe once, twice a week, because on top of the toner with the glycolic, my skin's quite dry, so I'm conscious I don't want that, you know, abrasion getting out of hand. I've also used Lacura Vitamin C Serum this morning. I got that in the box, the Lacura Christmas box, and I'm really impressed with it, because you can actually, I know it sounds silly, but you can smell the concentration of the vitamin C. It's really fresh, and it's got a nice kind of texture to it. It's not too runny, it's quite, um, like it says on the box really, a serum, but it like soaks in really well, but it's quite juicy on the skin if that makes sense, so it, it soaks right in, it feels like my skin needs that, so I, I use that every morning, um, and I think under that, if that's underneath, sorry, that preps your skin really well, and then that's straight on. And then my skin was feeling a little bit dry today because I've been in the house a lot with heat now and it's really rainy here at the moment. So I've just used my mud, ask, mud masky leave me on winter mask and that's really nice. It's almost like an emollient but it's not as thick as that. Put that on, soak straight in. And then of course I've also put on an SPF, even though it's winter, SPF all the way. It's SPF 25 from Avon and it's just over there but I will, I will show you that um, at some point. So I'm thinking of just a quick makeup look. So my skin's prepped. Um, I want something just that it just makes me look a bit more fresh. I, I look terrible at the moment. I just don't look good at all. So I thought maybe a bit of um, a bit of foundation. So at the minute I've got this Avon Serum Foundation and it's SPF 30. This is honestly, I'm loving it. It's the, the texture's brilliant. I've tried some at the moment that dry my skin out and this doesn't because it's got that serum in it and my skin needs that. So I suppose it depends on your skin. Depends on what co coverage you want, but that gives me a nice light coverage. I've got the shade Porcelain. My skin is very fair, especially if I've not got a tan on. I have got some other foundations that I use if I put some tan on my face that I do just need every now and again. So the first thing I'm going to do is use a primer, but at the minute I've actually got this by Soap & Glory. It's a bright pearl. And the boot, the radiance boosting pearls that squash into like a lovely serumy consistency, but they have a lovely shine to them. So I just like popping that on because I just feel the more I can put on my skin before foundation, the better. It just seems to sit better on my skin. I don't get streaks. Yes, love. Uh, I've got a short. I've got a short toenail. Got a short toenail. 
Look have you? Good. Oh goodness. Yeah, I'll I'll trim that in a minute. Okay, lovely. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to try that some of that? So that soaks in quite nicely. I'll just give that a couple of minutes to soak in. Does the bowl goes out or does the perfume come out? The balls squash as you put that down. The balls squash inside. Um, I'm thinking another primer what at is the it moment. For, mommy? It's for your skin. Oh, yes, I will use this today. It's the LMS Superfood Glow Primary Moisturizer. I actually got that in my Glossy Box Advent Calendar. This is gorgeous. It's got a lovely finish to it. So if you can see, it's like pearlescent. Um, and if you, you want to try this, it's really good. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of that on my skin, just again prepping it because the more I put on beforehand, the better. Yeah, I just find I, I used to have the analogy that oh, the less you put on the skin, the better, and it almost like the foundation. Then it's going to soak in better. It's going to lie better. Doesn't for me anyway. And again, it does depend it's, on the foundation that you use well, and time of year as well. I suppose well, if it's summer. Can I use some of this? No, not that one, lovely. You can use some of that one if you want. Oh, actually, that's a bit pink. Um, do you want to use some of that spray? Um, so, yeah, if it was summer, I wouldn't, I'd probably just use like my vitamin C and then maybe like my SPF and then straight in with. But to be honest, in the summer, I try not to use foundation if I, if I can get away with it, really. But um, I just use concealer where I need it. Right, so I'm going to pop on the Avon SPF 30 Serum Foundation just a little bit. And then I've got my Beauty Pie brush. This is the foundation brush. Um, just working that in there. And then I'm just going to start on the cheeks and work out. Again, you can probably see straight away. It covers nicely, but the, and the smell is absolutely gorgeous. It smells beautiful. What for my smell? Yeah. Whoa. Doesn't it smell fruity? But it's not overpowering. It's just like a nice, um, fresh... And the feeling on the skin, it, I can't explain it. You know, some foundations, they feel like they're drawing from your skin or like it's like a bit chalky. This isn't like that at all. It glides on, it, it sits beautifully and it just kind of blends with your product. It, it becomes part of the skincare. And I think it's just that serum element that's inside. Um, so I'm just working that in. Um, and again, like I say, I am no expert in this. It's just something I'm really interested in and I've wanted to do this for so long and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to jump on. And I'm, I just like chatting away, really. And I think showing the real side of, of life, of, you know, uh, your skin's bad. You've got your daughter here. It doesn't matter, does it? We're all just trying our best. And that's just it, isn't it? And like, being real. So I thought I'd... It just, it's something I enjoy doing. Okay, now I'll just have a little look at that in the mirror. It's not too bad, I just need to work around my nose. Okay. It's so I know, we all had COVID a few weeks back, but we're okay now. We'll now we'll have to go in on with the eyes um, with some concealer as well, because that's one of my things. I do have very dark, dark shadows around my eyes. I'm just going to sort my hair out. I've always had dark shadows around my eyes, and I think because I'm pale as well, it's more accentuated. Um, it's more noticeable. So it's just, it's just again, something I've always had to. But I do like the new trend where, you know, using that lighter say, uh, concealer can sometimes make your skin look worse. It's almost like accentuating the darkness. So to use more of a, a foundation, sorry, love, foundation shade. Now, this is my Estee Lauder Double Wear good, uh, Concealer, Radiance Concealer. I absolutely love it. Love it. I think the less I use, the, the better. Because the one's quite a big wand, if I pop that underneath, I'm like trying to work it in. It's taking ages. I end up with my whole face full of it. So what I've started doing is I just pop a bit on the back of my hand and then I get my Beauty Pie Concealer Brush, which I absolutely adore. I've got two of these now so that when I'm washing one, alternately, I'll, I'll have the other one on the go. Work that into the brush, nice and smooth. And then just pop that underneath around the eye. Um, and I know a lot of people say, oh, don't put anything on your eyelids. I think, again, it depends. I don't always wear eyeshadow, but um, I've got quite veiny and quite dark eye, um, eyelids, so I like to just give them a bit of a base. 
and I'm not big on, you know, the eyeshadow does stay and put all day. I, I'm a big believer in, do you know what, makeup throughout the day, transitions. And, and sometimes it creates a look that you like. You might think you might go home and think, oh my goodness, I look terrible. But other days you might go home and think, wow, I really like the way that eyeshadow does turned out. Or the way that uh, eyeliner, you know, especially collar and that, it's a smudge. You think, wow, it's turned out into a nice colour. So it's just a natural transition throughout the day. Things aren't meant to stay put and, and your skin Mommy, breathes, your skin I moves. I a different one. What's a different one? One's a different one. Okay. Yeah. Well. And especially in the job that, you know, I'm in, um, teaching, you're talking all day and it, it's just a natural thing that happens. Um, what do you want? That one. Right, I'm, right. <laughs> Let me give you something else. What about... <laughs> Uh, this one. Yeah. Could go very wrong. Okay, so I've done my face. Um, could I've done my concealer. Real. I've done enough for that. Could, could do a little. You can do a little bit, just a little bit. I'm not going to put much more on in terms of that. I have got my Hollywood flawless filter here that I might put on at the end and just dab on a little bit. But um, because I've used and I started off with the pearls, I think I've got enough glow plus the glow the glow primer as well. Like those together probably give me enough so i'm going to go ahead and just set my face now with um Mom, my shine. beauty pie shine. beautiful and shiny chick beauty pie this is the uber lucent universal one powder wonder it's amazing um because it's just what you want it's there's no color there's no iridescence pop it on the brush and this again is a beauty pie um, I think it, oh there we go, all over face large, it is beautiful, it's soft, it washes amazingly, it doesn't shed, I'm, I'm always really happy with the Beauty Pie brushes, uh, I didn't discover them first, I started off with skincare and went into a bit of like candles and stuff like that, you know, like you do, and then I thought hang on, so let's shiny. get into some brushes and I was really you know, impressed, really so um, uh, it just sets the face, just sets your makeup in place and I don't I do want a bit of a glow but that's too much love love that's too much too much um but I don't want too much today okay so there we go that's that done right next I could do with just do my eyebrows so I've just got a brow define and this is I don't know why I'm showing you because it's mirrored a brow define eyebrow pencil from MUA Makeup Academy. This was from um, another glossy box, but I've been really happy with it. I love the spoolie applicator on the other side. Mummy, I want to do the makeup just like you. Okay, lovely. Why don't you use that mirror? And you can go get your makeup bag from your room. Go get your makeup bag. Um, I'm just going to move this out of the way a little bit, just so that I'm in a better light. Because my window's over that side. So it's um it's a bit of a funny angle. So my eyebrows are quite thin, especially towards that way. It's just, just the way they've always been. Um, so I do have to add a bit of um colour really because it looks like this when when I'm on photos and when when I'm far away, it looks like the end then. I've just got no eyebrow. As you can see there in the sun, like it looks like I've not got any. So I do just have to try and be careful because it can look really, really drawn on because I've literally got nothing to work with. But that this colour is really um, quite a close match to my natural eyebrow colour. Um, I have tinted them in the past and I loved them for a bit, but they quickly wash out. I find like with your tone in your face and everything naturally. So I just that one works fine. And as you can see straight away, that's enough for me. And I don't go into all the soap and all that because I just feel like for me, it just doesn't look natural for me. Um, okay, maybe a bit of blush. Now, I've got quite a few of these cream blushes at the moment. I've got a putty blush from e.l.f. It's a beautiful colour. The colour isn't on here. It must have been on the box. It's like a very peach corally colour. Very nice for summer. And I've, I'm also really into these beauty pie blushes. So this is a fresh faced one. Um, and it's fine. And I'm going to think, I think I'll put this on a brush rather than... Um, on my finger because if I put it on my finger now after it's just on my face it's going to just come off it's just going to come off so I will use well, Lydia's used my brush um for the highlighter so I'll just I'm going to just pop it on this brush it's dual wash it's still got a bit of foundation mixed in but I think that'll work well because I don't want it to be too overpowering I just want a little light flush of colour and you can see I'm dabbing because if you if you do this and glide it's just going to take the makeup off that you've already set and all of that skincare 
So it's just going up to the ears and along my cheekbone. Let's do the other side. Oh, well, as you can see, too much. So what you do, a bit of foundation, on the back of the hand, just dab, 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 and then work with the brush. And then I'll just try and rectify that very quickly. Just even it out. Let's have a look. This wishes is complete. Now that may, might be a bit too much for some people, but I like, I do like blusher. I do. Some people don't like it or they, you know, prefer that matte look. Um, I'm one, I go for it. Okay, so next thing, let's curl the lashes. Something I've just started doing from following a few of my favourite makeup artists, Cher Webb, um, Hannah Martin, really big um, influences to me. This is from Avon. It's okay at the moment, it's fine. Maybe when I get into a bit more and maybe when this one conks out, I'll go for a more expensive one like the Shiseido or something like that, but it's fine for now. So I always just make sure that I've got all my lashes in the correct place before I just press and then swap over I'm I was nervous about doing this at first I think because when my sister was younger she used to use them all the time and she ended up with a sty on her eyelid and it was because she trapped it in one of these and um, it got a bit infected but as long as you're careful and you you know you wait and if you feel that tug release and just replace and try again Okay, lashes. I'm going to go in first with an Estee Lauder. It's just a lash primer. I so use that it's the writing's come off, but um, I'm just going to add some of that. As you can see, it just like clings to those little lashes that you might not even know you've got. And then once you put on your proper your proper mascara, sorry, it it just it's ready and it clings so well, and it lasts very well as well. Not on the telly, darling, please. Okay. Well, this is, I think I this is some better days, to be honest, so uh, there's not much left in it. Okay, that'll do. Just give that a minute to dry. While that's drying, okay, I'm just going smoky. to... Come on, can you have a smoky, please? Yes. A smoky is, for some reason, a cotton more bad. I don't know why she calls it a smoky. It's hilarious. Okay, I've put a little bit of lip balm on. I, I do tend to like try and apply it all day because I find if you let your lips get dry, trying to get them to go back to hydration is so hard. Whereas if you keep them hydrated, it's just easier than trying to... Prevention's best than cure, in other words. Um, so I'm thinking a nude lip. I've found a really nice well, lip liner that I, I like, like at the it. moment by Steve Laurent. Oh, it's in my bag downstairs. Instead of that then... No, Lydia, don't put water on the telly. Go and get a towel, towel. quick. Go get the towel. Okay. Instead of the Steve Laurent one, then, I will use this one from St. Lux, and it's a very nice pinky shade. Again. Oh, Cupid. Okay. And then, Lydia? Lydia? What? Don't put the Smokies in the toilet. What? Why, was, why did you open the lid? Going to put the water in the toilet. Get a towel, get my flannel from over there, and quickly dry the table, the the telly. I'm just wiping all the makeup off. The good girl. That's fine. Now that is a bit like my colour lip, but a bit darker, so it, it kind of just frames them quite nicely. And then. Amazing. Again, the lipstick I'd normally wear is in my bag, but it's fine. I'm going for Estee Lauder Coco Rose. Look how well used that is, because it's just one of my absolute favourites. Estee Lauder Coco Rose. And the smell of these lipsticks is just iconic. Okay, my lashes. Are... some lipstick. Yeah. Um, how about? I really like that green. And... Oh, that one, that one stains your lips. So why don't you wear this one? This is another nice one from Beauty Pie. This is uh, semi-sweet and it's a matte lipstick. Let's put some on. Right. Okay. It's independent. Okay, I'm going in with my mascara.
I'm going in with my mascara. This is Estee Lauder and it is Sumptuous Extreme Lash Multiplying Voluminous Mascara. Now, this is not working the best because um, I need to look down. I always look down when I do my lashes just because it doesn't go all over your lid as much. And look at that straight away, the volume. It is amazing. It's now I'm just try something lipstick. It's Again, I'm just repeating that like, I'm no expert. It's just something I enjoy and products that I love, and I'm happy to come back and do more. I think I will. It's I just so good. Love just it's trying good. different makeup. It's just my little switch off. My little uh, oh, you want to see Lydia's face here? This is uh, this is something special. Lydia, come here, love. Why don't you show the camera what you've done to your lips? No, no, no. Show your camera what you've done to your lips. Don't put the lipstick on the phone. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Okay, so as you can see, that mascara has gone on my, la my lid a little bit, but that, that always happens on this eye because I'm swapping my hand over. The control's not as good as on this side. So I just start, it's just an inevitable thing now. So what I do is I just tend to wait for it to dry and then I'll get my little brush and I'll just try and brush it off. So I'll do that in a bit, just let it dry. I think we'll go in with a bit of eyeliner today. Um, that have got a lovely plum one. Do we go plum? Yeah, let's go plum. So this is from Beauty Pie again, Ultra Colour Pro Gel Eyeliner. And it's in the colour Very Pretty Plum. I'm just going to use my phone there. It's, it's one of those where you need to just start it off a little bit, if that makes sense. Sometimes they dry, the actual, they, film, they almost form a film over the, the nib. And especially when you've just shortened it. So it's good just to wipe it on like a little towel or something like that. Again, anybody got any tips on alternatives to use as a vehicle to transfer your toner to your face instead of using cotton wool pads. I'm all here for it. I've tried the fabric ones, but I think then I'm washing it all the time because you don't want to reuse that because obviously the toner can really can remove still a lot of dirt, even though you've cleansed your face and you've done all of that. So I'm a bit stuck really on knowing what to use. And if you if it's cotton wool pads, I don't use loads, but if you think you're using two a day, that's 14 a week. That's nearly a full bin full, isn't it? Uh, it's just something that I'm conscious of. Right, I'm thinking a bit if I should have done this before, but just something on my eyes, just to kind of um, add a little bit of sparkle or something like that. Like I say, we're only going to soft play, but we are then going to nip to M&S because I've smashed one of our plates. I always smash everything. That's okay, Mummy. That's terrible, isn't it? Oh, I think she's um, and also I'm conscious of that eyeshadow now. Uh, the mascara on my eyela, on my eyelid, has kind of stained it a little bit. It's so that is such a black mascara. The shade is extreme black, so you know that's what I like. Um, I'm going in with the Steve Laurent pack, pa uh, palette, and it's again from Beauty, from my Beauty subscription of Glossy Box, and this is called Birthday Edition. So I think it was from the Birthday Box. Um, that they celebrated last year in 2021. So I'll just go in with my brush, Spectrum B07. And I like that because it's a fluffy one. You kind of, you don't need to worry too much about being so precise. It just adds that nice base. I'm just going to use this lovely peachy nude color. I've probably put too much on there, but um, again, it's just to give a nice little base reverence there. A bit of the glow, just to add a bit. Yeah, it's that's okay. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Good. I always work inwards. I don't know if you're supposed to. I don't know. It's just um, works seems to work best for me. Because if I make mistakes on the inside here, they seem less noticeable almost. And you can work with them. If, if you go out into your face, you're affecting all of your foundation, your blush, which tends to come up here quite close to your eye area. Okay, that's that's okay. And then I want something a little bit more iridescent bright to go in the corners, maybe. No, that's not. I was just looking at that one. This is the new this is XX Revolution Excite, and it's got your very pinky shades in. And I was thinking of that one, but then I thought it's. I want something more silvery. It's Urban Decay. 
stoned palette. Let's have a look. For this one, I'll go in with my Beauty Pie um, Pro Contour Eyeshadow. It's very small. Just give that a wipe on my towel. It's gone on. Okay, and I'm going to go in with Oral Opalora, which is this very white, purpley, lilac y shade. And just pop that. Yeah. I find it covers up some of my shadows well. I've still got dark shadows, no matter what I do. Okay. Oh, sorry, my nose is so runny at the moment. I just think just the back end of COVID and um, just the heating being on all the time. I'm still not happy with my eyes. I'm sorry. So I'm going to go in with a tiny bit more of my Estee Lauder. The back of my hand. In with the Beauty Pie brush. Concealer brush. Dab it in and just dab. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Now, again, still here yeah, is a bit of a problem, but again, I probably shouldn't have used a glowy base because it's probably highlighted the situation more, but I try and not let it get to me. If there's a spot, there's a spot on it. I just try and just, there's nothing really you can do. Just pop a bit more over the top. Everybody gets them, don't they? So it's not nothing to be ashamed of. You can only just cover it up the best you can. Okay. Um, I could just do with giving my hair a quick brush. Lydia, could you pass me my brush, please? It's over there, near the mirror. Sorry, I'll get it. I could have done with washing it today, but I'm going to use a hair mask tonight. So I thought I'll give it a, a night, a day off again. Um, and then I'll use a hair mask tonight. And it's rainy today anyway, so not, I know if I'd washed it, it, it wouldn't have, like, felt fresh because it's that humidity outside. So just give it a bit of a rush. I did used to have her about down to here, but I just I cut it all off. It is a bit long now, once it cut again. Right, let's go for some perfume, and then I'm done. And we'll go softly, and hopefully we'll deal with fun. I'm going to go in with, that's what I think. No, I don't really think that one today. Uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, yeah. Beauty Pie. Red Apple, White Peony and Cashmere. Absolutely so fresh and delicious. Mm -mm -mm. It's, a, it's like a tangy, tangy notes. It's fruity. It's like lemony, quite lemony, but also you get that apple. Um, but, <coughs> excuse me. Always happens. Let's make get a bit of hand gel on. Just some hand gel on. Okay, so that's my. Excuse my hair. I may even just pop half up, half down. It's annoying me today. Already, I can feel it. I'm like, no, I should have washed it. But it's done now, isn't it? So. Just whack it back. It doesn't matter, does it? Today, we're only going this way. So. And here's the finished look. So, oh. have we enjoyed it? Let's have a look at Lydia. Okay. And it, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, by the way, my name's Claire. <laughs>